Hello everybody and welcome to Bespoke Cards or Bespoke Crafts if you're looking at this on YouTube. If you're looking at this on YouTube or if you're looking at it on Facebook, can you please pop over to YouTube to Bespoke Crafts, subscribe um, and like my videos for me please. Um, I want to start getting as many as many likes as I can um, and hopefully the videos will get better. Um, I think we've got the camera sorted out now um, so we're, we're well on our way. Just before I carry on, I want to show you this. I made this, yes, the other day I got a, a set of nesting dies um, of, of obviously squares. Um, and they all come attached to each other. Um, but what I did, dis decided to do, I decided to keep them as they were, as it, an attached um, die, cut them all out. And then what I've done is I've layered them and I just, I just think it looks amazing. And you can see there, all the layers are there. And I think this, on a, for a masculine card, is going to look amazing. I just thought I'd share that with you. So I'll put that out there, wait, just for safekeeping. Right, so what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna to be work, working with gilding um, flakes. These are Cosmic Shimmer. So this is the Cosmic Shimmer, okay? And this is what these the gilded plates look like. These ones in these this tub is called Warm Sunrise. The one that I'm going to be using is Autumn Leaves, which that is what is in this tub here. Okay, so gilding flakes go all, all over the float everywhere. So um, what I want to do is use this die um, which I bought from um, Stables Card Emporium at Haber. Yeah, it's a lovely little shop. They've got absolutely everything that you could possibly want. Um, Kim owns the shop and they've got a bu lovely bunch of ladies that work with her. So friendly, so welcoming. Um, I, I can't say enough. They are they're just my little go-to shop that's, lo uh, that's local. Um, so what we're going to also be using, I've cut a piece of cardstock out, 5x5, but I've also got a piece of double-sided tape, which I should have undone. I'll start it off first. Oh, there we go. Now when you're applying this double-sided tape, this is Kim's tip, is, and I think it's absolutely fab, is turn your edging of your paper down about a centimetre put it right on the edge where you want it to be okay it's not quite right stick that bit down there so then you can see it is all stuck down and then gently Peel away and press down as you go in. If you take this backing sheet off, it's either this side or the other side, or the white side, you are going to get in an absolute pickle. It will stick to, well, it'll just tie yourself in knots really, to be fair. And how easy is that? So thank you for that wonderful Tip. I'm going to keep this as well and I'll show you why later and um, it's going to be really helpful okay so now I'm going to take well before I do that I'm going to just make sure they stuck down really well so without the noise I think after that's my bracelet as well so burnishing that Sided sheet so it sticks really well. Get the other side off. Oh, look at that. A dream, and you can see it's sticky. Right, so before we take that off fully, this is the die that we're going to be using. I cut it out earlier, as you can see. So I just need to put the bits out. Come 
come out really easy. It's a really nice die. Um, I don't know the name of it actually. I've thrown the packaging away, which is I shouldn't do that. Um, but I think I'm going to go to I'll go on Kim's Facebook page um, for Stables uh, Stables Card Emporium and have a look. She's got a shop on there as well, so you can order from there. And she, they're just really friendly. I can't recommend them enough. That one's a little bit stuck, so I'm going to take that one off and pull down, but that's fine, you won't see that. There you go. How easy was that? Very easy. Okay, so now we'll cut these bits of paper, because these are now going in the little recycle bin that you can't see. I've got a bit proper bin, and I've got a recycle bin. So now, and with, I'm going to do this the same way. I can't remember how she did this bit. So I'm going to stick this down right on the edge. There. Yeah, that's a better way to do it. Exactly, do it exactly the same way. You see it's sticky. I think it's a sticky to it. Stick it down. Now I'm going to be, I think there's a little tiny edge there that I'll trim off when I finish with that as well. So now let's move this stuff out of the way. So that dye is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's gonna You might hear the dogs sat with me. At the moment they're all sleeping, so there might be some snoring. That's probably the only noise that you'll be hearing. Right, so these gilding plates, these autumn leaves, are absolutely stunning. They've got all sorts of colours in them. If I can get the top off. These top these little tubs are only from such as um B and M or somewhere like that. This is a nice bit. And set this up. Okay, and you can see the beautiful colours that are in there. I'm focusing. We've got blues, it's got reds. So what I'm gonna do is just stick stick the bits down. To try not to talk. The whispering is still talking. Some beautiful colours in here. If I sneeze on this, we're going to be knowing about it. Or maybe you should have got a piece of A4 paper just, just to stick down. Um, just to catch all the bits, I might do that in a minute. No, I don't think we're doing too bad at the moment. This is a little bit time consuming. Um, but, but you'll see all, all the bits, everything you need to save because you'll get a different look. As the as the little particles get smaller, because you're gonna burnish them down onto the double sided. You don't have to worry; it's not gonna. It's only gonna stick down to the double sided tape um, backing sheet that's there. Right, I'm gonna say that's gonna be enough. Gently. And start using, it's just a, a little sponge, just to burnish. The 
all these legs onto the um, onto the double sided tape. And you see that it's not sticking to the to the die whatsoever. burnish so really press down comes up with a beautiful shine areas and just getting the bits up like I say this this product goes a lot an awful long way um, and you, even though it does that you don't want to waste it so I'm just going it's just going to be a, a plain and simple I'm just going to put a, a happy birthday on it um, and I think I'm going to put one of these I'm making a selection of cards for if anybody decides that they want one of the um, boxes of five cards. Um, some of them which I put sentiments on and some of them I won't. So they can send them to, to whatever occasion that you want to. Right, I'm going to put the lid on this now. a relief when the lid goes back on and we've had no spillages. So I found a little bit of burnishing off. Sorry about the banging, it is my bracelet on the Tim Holtz glass mat. Is that with the colours? Okay, so I'll put my light back on this way. I try and have it so you don't have the glare in my glass mat. There you go. But I still get the advantage of the, having the light there. It makes such a difference having good light in your room when you're working. There you go. Now I think that looks absolutely stunning and hardly any bits left. Okay. Um, I did want this for something. I think that was to press it down actually. But anyway, we've managed without it. So that can go in. Then, I'm not going to recycle that because it's, um, it's glossy and I'm not sure whether you can recycle glossy at all. You might be able to. If so, I'll take it out of that bin and put it back in the other one. There we go. So I've got a 6x6 card. Ah, look, I don't know whether you can see, or you will be in a, able to in a minute, you can just see that little overlay there. Okay, so I need to take that off, because I don't like it. So in my drawer, which you will have heard but not seen, is my little Tim Holtz guillotine, which I just keep... Now you're looking in this drawer. 
I'm open that one. That's my junky drawer. It's not junky, it's all treasures in there. Because it's obviously going on the white card base. You don't want to be able to see it. That's got it. So they were my Tim Holtz 9 inch shears. The new ones that are doing is changing all these colours to black. I've had these a very long time. I've been hairdressing, I've been, addressing, I've been addressing too long. But I'll stop now with my current medical conditions. The only person that gets his hair cut is now is my husband. She's just shouting out this all my ladies. Um, yeah, I miss them. But it is what it is. We've got this condition. We have to live with it. Right, so that's got all the little bits off. I'll show you this. I can keep going, actually. Yeah, Monty dreaming now. There you go. That'll do. Okay. So, and it is literally going to be a plain and simple card. So I'm going to use... <laughs> bless him. I wonder what he's dreaming of. He's just had his walk, so he's not dreaming about walking. Maybe he's dreaming about finishing his walk off. Right, my glue. I found it. It was buried. Well, it wasn't buried. It was just out of the way. So I'm going to literally just put glue around the very edges try and get a straight line on that and I've just noticed I've got some looking up there from yesterday that I haven't cleaned up properly it's just gone on my hand which has gone on the back of the card at least it's on this card on the back of it Again, this glue is Anita's glue, which is this one. I still want to empty this one. Tacky glue. So it must have maybe about 40 mil just left in the bottom of that. It seems to keep going on forever. Um, when I get down to these edges, as you can see, what I'm going to do is just smudge them out a little bit. So you don't get any squidginess coming out. Nothing worse than that, although I have got and would recommend everybody else to get um, a glue eraser purchased as well from Stables Card Emporium. Brilliant piece of kit that. So, pop this in the middle. A very very elegant elegant card so I've just got a sentiment to make for it now and go to my sentiment draw I've just worked with the colour sentiment I haven't found out where I've put on it on my guys uh, yet because I've, yeah, I've had a bit of a squishy down. That's nice. <laughs> Birthday wishes. I'll have a marvellous day. Um, I think birthday wishes. Have a marvellous day. Have a marvellous day. Let's go for that one. Um, I don't think that one's been used yet either. You will notice that the sticky end is stuck down and I only take I cut a slight slither off the other end of the packets because I can't stand that sticky stuff.
tidying up last time, did I? Okay. Wishing you a wonderful day, wasn't it? Just move that out of the way because I don't want to get anything on it. To, again, my magnetic um, backing sheet that I've put onto this. Didn't come with it, I put it on it, it just makes life easier. Make sure this is level. Excuse my head, sorry about that. It's easier to lift it up. Yep, that's level. So I'm going to prime the stamp because it's not being used. So this is just rubbing it just to get rid of all the bits or grease or whatever that's from manufacturing. Um, I was just going to say something else then. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I'll show you that in a minute. Let me move that here. And it'll remind me. Put against my glass of water. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to use stay on black ink. So this is jet black on stays on. Make sure that my card is in the same place. I want it to slap up in the corner. Does need another another stamp again, making sure that your card stays in the one corner. This is a brilliant thing about a stamp, stamping platform, is that you can stamp over as many times as you like, as long as your card doesn't move, and you just get a, a good stamp on it. And I think one of these. Maybe a little bit big. Watch it ruin it now. I'm not going to risk it again. Take it out now, put it with the others, and then I'll put them away when I've done. Um, and I've got a black back in the cupboard, in the drawer. A black um, Sharpie. I'm literally just going to fill in that little bit on the R. Right now when I'm cutting, I don't know what the bits appear so you can see it. What I generally wait to make sure that I do is with the edge of the plastic part on the um, guillotine, I make sure that the letters are literally just up to it. Cut it down, turn it around, and again, making sure that the letters are just up to it, and cut it down again. And there you can see it's level. Do it on this side as well. Just a slither, came off that bit. Right. There's nothing worse than a wonky um, sentiment. So I use my little sharp scissors. These are a little godsend. I need to get some more. Um, I don't. I need to have a look to see where they're from. They've got a cover on them.
They are just so sharp, but they are getting a bit blunter. These are my go-to scissors really. There you go, that's good to off. But I don't mind that actually. There you go. Bottom, bottom I think. And then we're going to pop it up. Oh, you're back in this drawer again. I've got any bigger sheets. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see what we're doing. And here we have almost complete in just over 25 minutes. A beautiful, beautiful card. sentiment on the inside which I'll do that later. Stick it on this side. Right up to the edge. And there you go. One. That was my notes in there. And I'll get my bone folder. is your card using building plates. Okay, I hope you like that. I'm going to take a picture of it and then put it on Facebook and then put it onto YouTube. Please, like I say, please go to YouTube um, and give me a like and a subscribe um, because it's nice to see that uh, people are enjoying the videos. All right then, thank you for everybody. Bye for now. Stay safe.